Hello, Captains. This is Kent again, and welcome to the Flight Show. So, I'm, you know, fulfilling my career in uh, a pilot's life, and I have landed at Orlando International, and I have to get back to Denver. But I was feeling like, you know, I haven't flown my 787 in a while, so I'd like to kind of put it under my belt. But then, so, okay, Frontier doesn't fly 787. So what we're going to pretend here is that the flight... Uh, do the uh, A321 uh, uh, had some repairs that needed to be made, so we put passengers on a subsidiary partner, uh, a partnering airline, to get back to Denver, and that's just how we're going to play this. Uh, and then we'll get back with Frontier because I have two. I have a turn going to uh, New Orleans and then back to Denver before I can look at another airline. So anyway. Uh, let's just get started with all of that and uh, get into the cockpit. Actually, we're not even going to the cockpit. We're going to start. Uh, let's see here. We're going to start GSX with boarding, which means our pilots are going to have to come out here too, and we're going to be boarded by Frontier. All right, so. Let's get started. Because first, the uh, you know who's going to come out? The pilots and the flight crew, since we're not at a, uh, a gated stand, like with a jetway. So, ground crews have to get everything together. We understand that. Alright, you, th you get your thing together, guys. And we will make the assumption that the ground crews had initially opened the doors. And here we go. Got this one. Got our rear door here. Alright, so now we need to go to the other side because we have to open the cargo doors. Alright. That's open. And if we look over here... There we go. So as soon as our pilots arrive, we will get started. Well, look who just arrived. It's our guys. Totally cool. Yeah, they got a lot of rest last night, so I know they're ready to get on this fancy 787 back to Denver. You know, for the sake of argument, I gotta tell you, I've been working so hard at getting the little glitches out of my computer the past few uh, days. That's why it's taken me so long to actually do this flight back, because just all kinds of little things were happening. But I have troubleshooted my butt off, and we are looking good right now. Alright. Now that they are in the cockpit... We can get started. Alright, so now let's start off with turning on the APU. Okay, so the APU power has kicked in. So let's just get started. One of the things that we need to do down here. Let's take a look at our checklists. Pre flight checklist. Oxygen test. Let's say we have. And your flight instruments and heading and altimeter. <coughs> Let's see. 
right now our heading is at 360 degrees altimeter is where is it there we go 30.23 good all right so we're gonna go with that ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck this is your captain we'd like to add our welcome aboard okay so that's a little we're early but we're just gonna roll with it and once we've done that we'll push back we're estimating an on-time departure let's go ahead and get our naps in finest flight attendants who are there for your comfort but most of all for your safety so we ask that you give them undivided attention whenever requested once again thanks for flying with us all right so sit back and relax and i'll update you uh, on our progress uh, once we're up now, I want to go over here to my uh, electronic flight bag because we need to put the right amount of fuel in here. And I could be using their, their tool, but I'm just going to use the fuel that I had from PFPX. And so our total fuel... Let's see here. Should be, let's see, our total flow is 55,949. What is that? Yeah, 55,900. So I'm going to say, they said 55,900. I think I can directly advise it here. 55. A Come on up. There we go. So we're just going to save. A, we're going to throw a little extra in there. So we'll go with that. That's fine. And our payload is 34,000. Uh, let's see here. So our payload is 34,000. Can I just directly address that? Okay, all of that's fuel. So it's not pay. Oh, here we go. Payload. But what... Here we go. Payload weight. There we go. Anyway, I could just type that in. Thank you. Love it. Uh, 34,000. Uh, 39. Sweet. Set payload. Okay, so we're a little under halfway, so I'm going to bring you back as soon as... We are done boarding. Okay, we have our last passengers that have boarded, so we should be told that we can start closing doors in just a second. Yeah. Bus is getting out of here, so should be time for us to do what we need to do. Doors closed. Cargo. Before start checklist. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just Before start checklist. All personal cellular telephones must be turned off and stowed for the duration of the flight. Passenger signs. Light. Passenger signs are on. Alright, let's say that we talked to that. Alright, we did get our B-speeds. Well, the part of the CD is pre-flight. They're doing the taxi and briefing now, so I'm just going to do that a little early. Don't get mad. Alright. No questions. At this time, I'd like so to now we'll go for four. It'll be there, but right now we just gotta ask for uh, pushback. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd say my frame rates are kind of low. I gotta figure out why. Always something to tweak. And I don't have heavy traffic, so... I don't know. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. 
Excellent. This is a non-smoking flight. Smoking is not allowed in the cabin or laboratory. All laboratories are equipped with smoke protection systems and federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying these systems. As we get ready for takeoff, please help us prepare the cabin. Locking gear. All carry-on baggage is stowed. Okay, starting engines. Starting engine two. Okay, they have uh, just disconnected and are giving us the wave off. We are just getting our second engine started. Okay, we are ready for taxi. Clear on the left. Clear right. Takeoff checklist complete. And we will go ahead quickly. Turn on our appropriate lights. And we will be getting out of here.
Okay, Captains, it's time to bring us down for our descent. All of our um, altitudes and so forth have been done, so let's engage descent. We will assume that uh, uh, ATC has now given us uh, descent or instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, please check that your seatbelt is securely fastened. And we are now engaging it will be on our descent. To all service items, as well as any other items you wish to discard, such as newspapers. Descent checklist. Recall is checked. Uh, notes. I think he'll go into them. And I have set auto break three. Our V ref has been confirmed. And our briefing will assume is completed. Alright. Back to the CDU. Okay, so we are on descent and we're almost at Drum, which is the waypoint where we will uh, begin our approach. Um, bearing in mind that, you know, Denver is a mile high, so you have to realize that even though we're going to be at 9,000 feet at Drum, we're only um, 4,000 feet above the uh, runway at that particular point. So what I was going to show you real fast is our, our electronic flight bag. Um, we have these waypoints going in if we're doing the um, DAND 9 transition or star, but we're saying that ATC was like, why am I going to go all the way here just to come back here or be brought around, uh, waste of fuel, not very efficient, so they gave us clearance direct from uh, Prague to Drum, and that's why we're not following that right right now. So I did, you know, change all my nabs and stuff like that. Didn't, uh, didn't want to bore you with it, so we're almost there. I will bring you back again when we are on our final. Okay, we're about to be turning on to final, so we have our speed brakes out while we uh, try to slow down while we're in our descent, and I think we're able to do that now. We are now at 240, which is our designated uh, speed. Um, and we're not, let's see here, we're going to zoom this in. Alright, so we're under 10 miles before we turn on to final, so we're about to uh, do the darn thing. I might leave the speed brake out here a little longer. Okay, no, we, we, we just don't want to go too fast, but once we bring out our landing gear, this is going to uh, be okay. And we're almost at 10,000 feet, so I'm just going to go ahead and put our landing lights on right now. Since I don't really have the benefit of a co-pilot helping me out, <laughs> kind of get ahead of things. And we'll be dropping our landing gear very soon. Alright, we're under 10,000 feet, so now we need to drop to 210 knots. So let's go ahead and give us some air break just so that we can get down there. And as I've said before, um, when our landing gear comes out, we're going to, you know, drop speed pretty well, so we won't need to be on the speed break. All right, we are now turning for final. So I'm going to go ahead, gear down. It's a little fast. I think that was a bit premature, but it's getting us down, so I'll live with that. And we'll have flaps one. And we'll go for flaps five. Ladies and gentlemen, in preparation for landing, Please return all seat backs and tray tables to their upright and All right, and there's the uh, runway in front of us. All right, so flaps are almost down. We are now going to arm the localizer. Actually, we're going to arm the approach because we're above it. So let's get down. Let's turn off the autopilot. My aircraft. 
and we're gonna come down a bit. It's a little high, but we all get we'll get on it. Speed break out. we get on the glide slope and pull our nose up our drop, our speed should drop just as we need it to. Now, you may not see it because I'm zooming in so I can kind of focus on the runway, but I have my uh, instruments, here we go, I have my instruments available off screen, they're right below the monitor, so that's just out of your field of view. Alright, yeah, now everything is dropping, that's good. We are on the glide slope. We are on the localizer, so we're looking good. And we're gonna drop flaps. Landing check. And we'll retract. We will retract our spoilers. And I'm actually going to get off the auto throttle. Morning, so just uh, pardon my phone, and we can go ahead and put these back on since now I know what was wrong. Little under glide slope. That's all right. Let's just get it back in line. A little low, but I can correct for that. But it is beautiful. All right. 400. Okay. Flight slope. 300. Approaching minimums. Flight slope. Minimums. Flight slope. Continue. 200. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. A little off center. We'll get it. 100. There we go. Fifty. Cutting 20, throttles. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Okay. We have touchdown. Auto brake. Auto brakes are engaged. All right. We're at seventy. Leasing thruster. Manual braking. Bring the spoilers down. Slow us down a little bit more so we can exit the runway. Excellent. All right, so as I'm tr we will be taxiing for the next few minutes. So please run As I've been trying to do, let's take a few minutes to just take a look at that landing externally. At that time, please remember to check around your seating area be right the seat back. pockets. Yeah, the snow seems a little bright. I'm going to have to kind of look into my shaders and get that to look a little bit more realistic. Or it could be my brightness. I'll look into that. But otherwise... Don't think. Don't think. Let's zoom in, because we're a ways off at the tower. See how that looks. Kind of gentle, at least I think it was.
Oh yeah. That is the way we want it. I see the, uh, I didn't arm the air brakes in the midst of everything I was doing. I seem to have missed that, but that's okay. I, I like that landing. That was beautiful. Okay, so we are now back. Um, we have talked to G, you know, uh, GSX, and uh, we are going to gate Alpha 45. In fact, I need to be looking on my uh, electronic flight bag to see exactly where that is. But what we can also do is go here to let you see this in a little bit more splendor. Alright. Meanwhile... We're going to, let's see... Taxi... I'm on my... Taxi in... What is it? A45... Here we go. And I got my path right there. Okay, so... It's not too long of a taxi. I may just bring you back in... After, uh... You know, so you don't have to watch the entire thing. So we should see the marshaller just any second now. Yep, there he is. So... Let's get ready to turn on 45. Which 45 is that? I want to make sure I hit the right one. Yeah, okay. 45, A45, not the A45W. So we'll hit this turn. And we should be coming in just nicely. Should be right on the center line. Yep, in fact we are. There we go. Don't get too fast. Don't let her get away from me. There we go. And he's telling us to bring it to a halt. And we... Oh. Nail it right there. Okay, brakes on. Our APU should be on at this point. Yes, so we can cut engines. And we can tell that we're ready for deep boarding. And we can bring our jetway in. So we're going to have, let's bring up our little thing to open our doors. We can go ahead and open the cargo now. Jetway is coming over. That's excellent. And now we can move to row one. And we'll open door four left. Now, why these guys drive like this under the plane? Come on, GSX, get it together. What is up with that? That ain't me. That's all I got to say. All right. We have successfully went from Orlando to Denver, and I thought I would also pop up here for you. 
Where's my mouse? Okay, here we go. We can now bring up a pilot's life. And we can say end flight because we have arrived at our destination. If you can see our queue is come on guys. Right here at Denver. So end flight. And we have yet another flight under our belt from Orlando to Denver. We have two flights left with this uh, before we get another set of flights. I'm trying to decide whether I want to stay with Frontier or go to another airline. Keep it, you know, interesting and spicy. And all right, so we earned 43.5 XP. We have nine destinations under our belt. Our favorite air, our most flown aircraft, the B-787. That would be odd. That's the first time I've flown it with uh, this particular thing. But hey, I'm not worried about it. And uh, let's take a look. What else can we say? Oh, yeah. So we have 44.6 flight hours since we've been using this. And this is still in the bank. At the end of the week, I should have some more money, which I'm hoping. And, uh, you know, want to get another star. Uh, so I can be looking at some other airlines. Just let's take a quick look at the job market and see what they are trying to offer. So we have PSA Airline. I don't know much about them, but my pay rates are all pretty, you know, flatline. Roughly 14 or so dollars and then 13. I'm not, you know, really enamored by any of those pay scales. So I think I'm making, what am I making right now? 16? Yeah, I'm making 16 an hour. No, you guys, sorry, not interested. Appreciate it. We'll uh, keep flying with Frontier until uh, one of the bigger boys have something to say. All right. So, no, we are not accepting offer. It seems that our next flight is due to go to New Orleans, Louisiana. So, pretty cool. Okay, all of that said, you've seen another day in the life of a pilot's life. Uh, I just wanted to get this 787 under my belt. I haven't flown in a while, and uh, just trying to keep it interesting over here. But we'll be back to our Airbuses since that's what uh, Frontier Airlines normally flies. I really appreci appreciate you all, uh, you know, tuning in, supporting the channel. I hope that this flight was interesting for you. I've been working hard to make things, you know, visually pleasing. Uh, but all that said. Where is that little view I wanted? There we go. Right there. Uh, that being said, I hope you enjoyed the flight, and I look forward to seeing you in the virtual skies. Be sure to like and subscribe, and for everyone that has, greatly appreciate you. We are almost at a 1,000 at this particular date. You all take care. Bye-bye.